Hello dear bonsai friends, I'm Peter. Welcome to my bonsai channel. This video is about the detection of the cause of yellow leaves with brown tips on potted plants and of course also on bonsai trees. I'm not a trained gardener and can only report from my humble experience. As a current example, I have a ficus tiger bark, which has been standing in the same earth for the last three years. It is kept indoor in winter and is also fertilized organically throughout. In the last summer it was in the garden, with temperatures above 10 degrees Celsius. In a row of several ficus, this one got more and more yellow leaves in the last weeks. Finally, the leaves also had brown tips and a small branch withered. These pictures were taken the day after the treatment and also show the still intact new shoots. Yellow leaves can have several causes. For example, false earth, specific nutrient deficiency, too much or wrong fertilizer, or just too much water. The latter can be easily checked. Is the pot with the plants heavy or light? In order to rule out overwatering, the only thing left to do is to check the root ball. Usually the soil is well rooted and you can lift the complete plant out of the pot without damage. Aha! Although I have not watered for several days, the lower part of the root ball is completely soaked. The substrate I used a few years ago is unsuitable according to my current experience. With this soil, after some time, water logging can occur, which can cause the roots to partially drown. This causes leaf damage to potted plants like this ficus bonsai.
By repotting, I can remove several of the presumed causes for the damage. I now place this ficus in my favorite substrate. It has peat parts and is evenly mixed with small clay balls. This results in a soil that is very loose and permeable and at the same time can store a lot of water. For this topic there's already a video on my channel. In addition I've added some organic fertilizer and root activator. With most of evergreen plants, the season for repotting is not so important. When repotting, I take the opportunity to tilt the tree a little bit and adjust one of the aerial roots for this new position. When refilling the substrate, make sure that the spaces between the roots are carefully reworked mechanically. At the end, I knock again from all sides against the pot to spread the substrate better and to loosen it up. We take a closer look at the removed substrate. It is incredibly wet and had obviously developed negatively over time. It had a lot of compost and humus. In my opinion, this is not well suited. For a longer keeping of potted plants, of course, this also applies to bonsai. Now, water well with warm water. The outer temperature it's not just about 8 degrees Celsius. I have to hurry a little. The ficus should not be damaged. Now you can see how well the new substrate drains the water. I'm very confident that I will have no problems with stagnant water in the future. However, I will have to water a little bit more often. Be curious, I am happy if I can share my little knowledge with you. Please leave a comment, thumbs up if you like it. I have many ideas about bonsai, don't let them. Subscribe to my channel to be notified when there is a new video. Thank you for your interest and all the best. Stay healthy. Until the next time.